Do you want to grow your YouTube channel? Well, one of the metrics that the YouTube algorithm uses to determine if they should rank your videos is total watch time. And if you can keep people on your channel longer, you'll have a better shot of ranking high in the YouTube search results. And one of the tools that YouTube gives you to keep people on your channel are the info cards. And those are those cards that are right here or right here. I forget where they are. And in today's video, you'll discover how to add info cards to your YouTube videos. So let's get started. I actually think they're right here. Hi, it's Steve from It Makes Sense, and I want to help you grow a YouTube affiliate marketing business because it just makes sense to have time and financial freedom. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Info cards can help people stay on your channel longer and YouTube loves this and making YouTube happy is always a good thing because if they love you, they'll more likely rank your videos higher and the higher you are in the search results, you'll get more views, more watch time, more subscribers and ultimately your channel will grow. So let's go through how we can add cards to our YouTube videos and if you stay to the end, I'll show you a power tip where you can add cards to your less popular videos which will add more watch time to your entire channel. All right, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can add info cards to your videos. So the first way is when you're uploading a video. So let me upload a video really quick. Drag it over here. So now I'm in YouTube Studio and once this is done uploading, I will show you where you add this. All right, you have to have this finished processing before this option is available to you. So keep that in mind if you're gonna use this method. So once it is finished processing, I'm gonna to go to next and right here, add card. So I can go to add. And this is where you would add your cards. You can, so if I hit add card, I can add a video or a playlist. I can add another channel. So if I wanted to promote another channel I had or someone else's channel, or I can create a poll. You can also add a link, but I don't have this enabled yet because I'm not monetized. I'm not a part of the YouTube Partner Program yet. So let me show you how you would just add a simple card of your own video. So you find a spot within the video right here with this slider. So let's say I wanted to add it right here at 15 seconds. So then I would do add card, I'm gonna add a video, create, and then I would search through the video that I wanted to add the card for. Um, let's say I didn't have the video here that I wanted to add. You would just add the URL here. So for instance, let's go to my channel. Let's go to my one of my older videos. Let's say just let's just pick one. Let's pick this one. Then you can come over here, hit share, copy the link, come back here paste it, and then you'd create a card. So anytime someone was watching this video and they got to the 14 second mark, this card would pop up and if they clicked on it, they would go to that specific video. So that's the first way that you can add a info card to your YouTube video. Hey, if you're getting value from this video, please hit that thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know how you use cards. All right, so the second way that you can add cards to your video is for a video that's already been published. So let's return to YouTube Studio. And let's get out of here. So I'm in my YouTube Studio and I'm in the video section. So let's just pick a video. Let's pick this one right here. If I go to details, click on the little pencil. And right here you can see cards. And this, you would click on it. And then you just go through the same process that you did last time, just pick a spot in the video. And this time let's add a playlist. So let's add this, let's do playlists. And these are all my playlists. So let's just do this one. Create card. Now, whenever someone got to the six minute mark and they clicked on this, it would take them to the very first video in that playlist. And that's a great way to keep people on your YouTube channel is to have them go directly to a playlist. So you should probably use playlists in your cards if you can, because like I said, YouTube loves when you keep people on 
the platform. All right, now for the power tip. Let me show you how you can use cards to keep people on your channel, even with videos that aren't performing as well as others. So let me get out of here. And let me go back to my YouTube studio. So I'm gonna go back to the videos. And I'm going to pick a video that I know is not performing well, and that's this one here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to analytics and I'm going to go to my audience retention. And this is a graph that shows you where people are dropping off. So for instance, 100% of the people are starting, but then by the end, I only have 12%. So this isn't one of my best videos. So what I would do here though, is I would look for a spot where they're really dropping off. So for instance, right here, it goes from 54%. So 54% of the people are still watching, but if it drops down to 36%. So I want to add a card. This is at the 114 mark so I want to add a card let's say at the 107 mark so I would write down 107 then I would go to the details go to the cards and remember it was at 107 I already have a card here so I've, I must have already done this but let's let's just move this to the 107 mark well, let me pause this so yep so I had it at the, I put it at the 10, 114 mark. Well, let's just put it at the 107 mark, move it over. So that's a way that you can keep people on your video longer. And this is a way that you can keep people on your channel longer. Because if people are dropping off anyway, because your video for whatever reason is not performing, why not send them to another video that is performing well? And in this, I send them to one of my best performing videos. So that's a little tip how you can use cards for your videos that aren't performing as well. Just find out where in your analytics, in your audience retention graph, where people are dropping off, put a card before that. And if people see that, they might be like, oh, here's another video, let me go try this out. So that's a great way to keep people on your channel and increase your overall watch time for your channel. Now, the last thing I'll say about this is you don't always want to have cards in the beginning of your video because if you are having people watch a couple minutes of your video but then click off that's not good for audience retention so don't employ this strategy unless you have enough data to know that this video isn't performing. So that's the only time that I would use this at the beginning of video is if I know that my audience retention is dropping off because I have at least a week or two of data that tells me that. Again, don't put your cards at the beginning of the video. You probably want to put them towards the end because you want people to watch more of your video. So that's another tip I'm gonna add. Now adding info cards to your YouTube videos is just one way you can keep YouTube happy. But another way is to make sure that you properly add tags to your videos. And I show you how to do that in this video over here. But if you don't wanna watch that video, go watch this video down here. And that is a video that YouTube recommends. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.